when we try to use the term U.S. imperialism, I think sometimes people are like, well, imperialism is different from capitalism. And then there's like a categorization of the different ways in which the United States kind of expresses itself and interacts with the rest of the world. And the notion of a forever war, that's usually, you know, the notion that like the idea that Afghanistan is the U.S.'s longest war, like this longest campaign, right, in this way. And then, you know, knowing that that's actually not the case. And then sometimes the forever war idea or the language is attached to like the U.S.'s longest war, right? And so that there's like this this notion that the war on terror is this like very unique type of campaign or like period of U.S. war making and U.S. imperialism that then gets kind of separated or exceptionalized from the long war of like the Indian wars, right? Being something that didn't just happen during a historical period, but that are in fact like the basis and like the structuring force for U.S. imperialism writ large. And so if you're thinking about the forever war, there is a forever war, but it's forever because it's literally like what structures the very existence of the United States. It's not necessarily that the U.S. is just engaged in quote unquote war making like in a foreign sense, whether it's like diplomacy, whether it's military campaigns or engagements like U.S. imperialism and war is literally the United States. It's the thing that makes the U.S. what it is. It's the thing that makes the U.S. legible as like a nation state or as like an idea, like the ideology of liberal democracy in the U.S. is premised on war. And so it makes sense that Biden, he's just like, he's like war, yeah. War is who we are. War is literally who we are as Americans. And you hear most liberals and progressives talk about how war is incredibly profitable, right? The intersection of war making with capitalism. This is true, but they use that as the explanation for why the United States is always engaged in war making, when in fact the U.S. is engaged in war making because that's who it is, because that because imperialism is like baked into the cake of the very existence of the United States. And that that imperialism is routed through the figure of the terrorist, the enemy of the state, the the insurgent, right? 